It's not unusual, and we've talked about it this year, for the holiday season to put increased pressure on area food banks, but this year that pressure has substantially increased. And that's because of a change to the state's food stamp program known as Food Share. News 3 reporter Dave Delosier is in our newsroom with more on the impact of that change. Dave? Yeah, Eric, you know the change went into effect in April, and it requires an able-bodied adult without children at home to work 80 hours a month to stay on the program. Because of that change, approximately 15,000 people have been dropped from food share. This is why we're here. For a daughter turning 10, it's barely a birthday without a cake. It's very important to her to have that cake, to have that moment to herself where she gets to be sung to. For dad, Chris Gardner, the monthly visit to the Badger Prairie Needs Network Food Pantry unfortunately didn't come in time. One of the kids had a birthday last month and we didn't come in after the birthday. While the Gardner family had to celebrate a little later than expected, there were plenty of items to pick from after the increase in holiday food donations. I think you'll see that our shelves are very well stocked. Well stocked for the time being. That 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock hour, especially at the old location, was always packed. It would be an hour and a half wait. We are seeing more people. Almost 80% more people, to be exact. That was really interesting. Since April, more than 60,000 Wisconsin residents have been kicked off of the food stamp program due to changing employment requirements. I've been wondering if we have uh, more people coming because of this. Food pantry coordinator Doug Maxwell can't say for certain whether the new laws are to blame for the increase. It is illegal for him to ask whether his patrons are on food stamps. Yeah, it definitely is a lot. Regardless, Maxwell is just happy he can feed everyone on his list this holiday season. People are very generous around the time of Thanksgiving, right? and it's appropriate, but we have to serve people 12 months of the year. Though after the holidays are over, the outlook isn't as cheery. We are planning ahead and working with various organizations to have food drives during the spring. Uh, the summer, um, I haven't quite worked that one out yet. <laughs> In Verona, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. Now again, traditionally food banks see an uptick in donations during the holiday season, and that has certainly helped them to meet this need. But in years past, those don donations uh, carry them into the first part of the year. And Eric and Susan, with so much demand now, the real question in all of this is what happens in those first months of the year with the, when the food supplies are down. Yeah, it'd be great to get people to step up and we can all help out. Dave, thank you very much. Thanks, Dave.